Hello, I'm Benny Westside, and today we're doing the crash course for Lizard. Uh, what this is, is we're going to quickly go over his abilities, T4 upgrades, uh, ISO 8 options, and uh, overall how much you should build him. Uh, that way, once you unlock him, uh, you can make a more informed decision. All right, let's, le let's get into it. Uh, I, I like starting out with uh, the passive abilities. Uh, cold blooded on spawn he's gonna gain he's gonna apply three deflect to himself and his team uh, he's gonna gain five death proof and if there are any spider verse enemies so that could be a black cat it could be a mirror it could be a tangled web or a symbiote surfer uh, he's gonna gain a 40 percent speed bar on spawn uh, when a uh, green goblin uh, falls below 50 percent he's gonna have reflexive taunt uh, he is going to uh, give 50% resistance to the whole team and his T4 upgrade is going to give himself only 30% block chance. This is a good upgrade, it's not essential, but because he's uh, the protector of the team, he's taunting, uh, block chance is good for him, so uh, this is a good upgrade. Alright, let's look at his ultimate, which is going to come turn 1. Uh, it's a six turn ability. He's gonna attack all enemies. He's gonna clear disrupt from all allies regardless of tag And then he's gonna spread all buffs from himself to his sinister allies uh, He's gonna gain taunt for one turn and immunity for two turns His t4 upgrade is very big. It's gonna add damage, but more importantly He's going to copy and clear all buffs from all enemies so uh, and he does this before he spreads so he's basically going to suck all buffs to himself from all enemies clear them and then he's going to spread it to his sinister team this is very good i would call this an essential upgrade uh now let's look at his special which is a four turn ability uh, this also comes ready so there might be a case where you prefer to use this on turn one uh so He's going to attack primary and adjacent. He's going to flip a buff to slow, another buff to heal block, and then he's going to flip everything else. Uh, if he does not have trauma, this is a good call out. He's going to uh, absorb all debuffs from his sinister team and then flip them. This is similar to absorbing man. And then uh, if he flipped anything, he's going to heal per buff debuff flipped. And then he's going to gain taunt. Also, this is an unavoidable, unavoidable ability, uh, so that's great uh, versus things like uh, Spider Weaver or anything with a blind or an evade. Uh, the T4 upgrade, uh, uh, it, it adds more damage, that's okay, but if any enemy is a support or hero Spider-Verse, he's going to apply ability block. That's great, uh, so you can uh, use this uh, versus an Apocalypse or uh, an enemy Doc Ock. Uh, so th this has a lot of flexibility. Spider Weaver, Spider Weaver is a, a hero Spider Verse, so that's great. And this is unavoidable. So uh, this is a very flexible ability, and adding that ability block is a great functionality upgrade. So this is something I would consider essential. All right, let's look at his basic. He's going to attack primary and chain to two more. Uh, he's going to do piercing damage. He's going to uh, flip regen, apply bleed, and apply heal block. The T4 upgrade only adds damage. This is an okay because uh, okay upgrade because it's piercing and three uh, enemies, and it gains a little more value if you run him as striker. All right, uh, that's a good segue into uh, the ISO 8 discussion. I think uh, his best ISO class is going to be striker. Uh, Raider is an option for him. Uh, for most of the Sinister Six faction, I've said they can flex between Raider and Striker. Uh, this character also falls into that category. Uh, but his ISO and basic attack, uh, I think, pulls ahead of uh, some of the others. Like Green Goblin uh, only applies defense down. Uh, Doc Ock applies slow. Craven applies offense down. Vultures is just raw damage. So um, his has a little more coming with it. So I think uh, as a striker, this has more value. Uh, but depending on the team comp, uh, you, you might want to run him as a raider. 
all of his abilities are multi hits, so he will take good advantage of he, he will take good advantage of that class as well. Especially if you're running him with Shocker. Uh, not the summon Shocker, but the main character Shocker. Because on spawn, Shocker is going to give speed bar to Lizard 70%. That means uh, for sure Lizard is going to go first uh, uh, out of everybody in the match. Maybe save for Magneto. But anyway, so he's going to go very early and he's going to attack every enemy. So you want to uh, have him sweep them with vulnerables. That way your other characters can take advantage of that. So... Um, yeah, uh, in, in such a case, Raider would be a better choice. Um, and then in terms of building, I would say level, level him and gear him as much as uh, you want because this is a tank and uh, he can use all the, all the stats that he can get and he has a lot of control abilities, so he's going to love having that focus. Uh, with that, I want to talk about what I want to do. Uh, I haven't, uh, I haven't really explicitly said this on other Crash Courses, so I want to start doing that. Uh, I would like to buy uh, his unlock offer if they keep doing the $25 offer. This is a two-star character, uh, so I would hope they continue with it. If that's the case, uh, that I would buy. If it's a $50 unlock and they don't have the $25, I'm not sure. I might try to core unlock him. I have, um, I think... Four, uh, close to 4,000 cores right now. Yeah, 4,000 cores. So, um, yeah, come on. <laughs> okay, uh, so I might try to unlock him that way if they don't have the $25 offer. Um, and on day one, I plan on maxing him to level 95, gear 18. He's a very good character, very important for his team. Uh, and we're going to have a gold spending event, so I will capitalize on that. Uh, until I get him to 4-4 four, four, or 5-5 five, five in terms of stars, I'll probably run him as a skirmisher. I know Crucible currently has a 200% focus buff for sinister characters, uh, but that's not the case in war. I think in war it's like 10%, 20%. I'm not sure. Anyway... So, uh, I, those are good abilities. While his stars are low, I want his focus uh, to make use of that crutch from uh, Skirmisher. But once I hit that mark of 4-4 four, four or 5-5, five, five, uh, I will swap him to Striker as I think that's the class for him. Alright, uh, in summary, I want um, to uh, quickly go over it again. His special and ultimate are essential upgrades. His passive is a very good upgrade. His basic is also a good upgrade. It's a better upgrade if uh, you run him as Striker, which is going to be my recommendation for his ISO class. Uh, and I recommend you build him as high as you are able and willing to. Uh, with that, uh, I wanna uh, point the microphone to you. Uh, let me know in the comments, do you plan on buying him? Uh, how far do you want to build him? How have you been doing with the Sinister Six so far? Do you like the team? Uh, let me know. I'm curious to hear. Um, and with that, uh, thank you for going over Lizard's kit with me. I hope to see you in the next one.